the Exu Chapter Chairman, Professor Ulufayo Uluolu, after addressing the Congress of the Union. I was starting an exam that would be distracted by the student that the university should suspend it for like suspend the exam for like a week or so. And then more so that the government was yet as at that time to give us a subvention. The Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Samuel Uyibandele, who expressed the line to NASA's decision, assured students and the staff of management's readiness to commence academic activities immediately. I'm happy to inform you that today our own ASU meeting here, this is a local chapter, just met, and it is heartwarming that they have actually uh, confirmed the suspension. And the examination that we were to take before the national strike came, I was just being informed, and very happily too, that management is, uh, should be able to have the exam any time that we are ready. Professor Oye Bandele urged students to shun all acts of violence that could truncate the existing fees in the university. Business News is next. Welcome to Business Report. In its bid to promote agribusiness, Unity Bank has effectively keyed into various intervention funds by the federal government and central bank of Nigeria to boost agriculture. Thus, Imagine is one of the leading players in the industry, driving the intervention schemes of the tune of 24 billion naira. Its commitment to what participating in the own lending schemes was born out of its belief in pursuing benefits of greater financial inclusion and reaching out to a greater number of farmers all around Nigeria initially excluded with financial services, all of which is made possible by the bank's deep knowledge of rural economy. Olubenga Adelana, head of agribusiness, said it is understandable why the bank is making inroad and being reckoned with when it comes to disbursing the intervention funds. The key beneficiaries which the intervention programs are designed for ply the agribusiness mostly in the rural areas, and this is a space that the bank has not shied away from. The bank is therefore unleashing the strength of its business model and placing its structures at the disposal of the intervention schemes in its bid to support government's key initiatives to drive the growth and transformation of Nigeria's agricultural economy. Meanwhile, the Minister of State for Aviation, Hadis Rika, has disclosed plans by the federal government to certify the Inamdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, before the end of 2017. This proposed certification, according to Sirika, will ensure optimal value for our airports in terms of air safety and revenue generation. Aerodrome certification in aviation parlance is a process by which a state can demonstrate that airport in its territory meets regulatory safety requirement on a continuous basis. It is an international civil aviation organization strategy for the standardization and harmonization of airport services, facilities and procedures, as well as ensuring uniformity in safety of critical aerodrome elements, irrespective of the difference in ownership and management of such aerodromes. By this development, the airport will become the second to be certified out of the 22 managed by the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. And finally, in business, all headed for its largest third quarter gain in 13 years as prices rose on Wednesday after the Iraqi oil minister said OPEC and its partners are considering extending or deepening output courts aimed at reducing a global supply glut. Brand crude futures rose 64 cents to $55.78 a barrel, while U.S. West Texas Intermediate crude futures gained 52 cents to $50. The oil price is on course for a rise of nearly 16% this quarter, which would make this year's performance the strongest for the third quarter since 2004. And that's Business Report. I am Isenne Egesi.